Hi everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and in this quick video I'm going to show you how you can set some key bindings for the uh, F-35, hope I get this right now, B variant, the vertical takeoff, vertical and short takeoff and landing variant on the F-35 so that you can hover forwards and hover backwards. So what I mean by this is that with the F-35, if you put it into uh, STOVO mode, then just put it into hover mode and then we go up there you go as you'll know I mean I'm using an Xbox controller on my PC which is nice and easy we can kind of we can go right we can go left and we can kind of turn around and we can go up and down but going forward and back <laughs> there's no key bindings but if we set some key bindings um, I have mine set up as on um, the minus button on my numpad we can go forward like that and then if I press the plus button we can go back and the star button is meant to stop you um, but it doesn't seem to always work sometimes you've got to kind of uh, press the press the opposite of where you want to go to make it uh, do what you want to do the um, people behind the F-35 they do say that the hovering of the F-35 uh, the way that you have to control it is a little bit of a workaround and I'll put a link to their official manual in the description below this video. So what you want to do, what you need to do, is you go into your controls and you want to look for aileron. So if you look for A-I-L-E-R-O-N, um, you get these and it's all done on the aileron trim buttons. Now the, the particular key bindings I've chosen, you see them on keyboard here, um, they do clash with some other things but it does seem to work okay so set aerolon trim which is my number multiplier that's the one that's meant to kind of set your um, speed at zero so when you press that the aircraft shouldn't move but it does seem to keep moving most of the time so i don't know whether that works or not and then i have um aerolon trim right as uh, the minus button on my uh, keyboard number pad and uh, aerolon trim left is the plus button and so the minus takes me forward and the plus button takes me back now according to the manual what you're actually doing here is you're actually setting a speed so you're setting right i want to move forward at two knots and that's the speed the aircraft starts moving because <coughs> as you know if you've been flying the f-35 everything is basically controlled by the computer as soon as you go into the stvo uh, short takeoff and landing mode and the thruster at the back comes down and you, your, your fan opens up you know you can't bank very far can you because um, the computer's controlling everything and then when you go into hover mode the computer's controlling everything again um, and so it is a little bit counterintuitive the way that you control it maybe the thing would be to go to the controller um, and set some um, Set, set some settings there. I'd have to think about which ones to use so they wouldn't clash with anything because I do really enjoy using the um, uh, F-35. Uh, it's really, really good good fun, great aircraft to fly. Um, so there we go. So search for Aerolon. Um, set Aerolon trim. Again, I have that as the multiply button. It doesn't seem to do much. But the important ones are Aerolon trim right and Aerolon trim left. They're the ones that will make your F-35 go forwards and go backwards so you can line up for those perfect... Um, carrier landings or if you want to land on the back of a smaller ship or a small uh, like a, a hover pa uh, helicopter pad or something like that so there we go um, and if you want if you're watching this thinking is it worth getting the f-35 the microsoft flight simulator i say absolutely if you're on pc 100 percent if you're on xbox series x or xbox series s it's worth getting but bear in mind you're probably gonna have to plug in a usb keyboard and mouse to get the most out of it because the beauty with the F-35 is that you get three versions of it, really. You get the uh, F-35, hopefully i get this right now, the F-35A, which is the US Air Force version, um, which is basically, a, you know, it's, it's a it's a F-35 designed to take off and land at normal uh, runways. Then you get the F-35B, which is the short takeoff and landing one, which is the one you see here, which can, it can take off vertically if you want. It's not really designed to, because it has to be quite light, and it does it's designed to take off short takeoff and landing like the ramps on the front of the um, British Air, the Royal Navy aircraft carriers um, or on smaller you know um, ships without um, 
catapults um, but it can land vertically and that is just so much fun and you get the F-35C and the, the F-35C is the US Navy version with the um, uh, landing gear on it so it's got the hook on the back and it's got the launch bar on the front and the way that they've programmed it is that it simulates a catapult launch so you can even from a normal airfield it will simulate a catapult launch and when you land it will simulate a arrested cable landing and it is fantastic and if you combine that with buying one of the carrier packs it, you can you know it's top gun all over but you know the fact that we can with this one we can go to SDO for VL mode Oops, turn it on. go to hover and then up we go how amazing <laughs> How amazing is that? Well, hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.